welcome back everyone so we're here for another tutorial on how to update well this one's gonna be kind of interesting so any of you who, that have dynamic dnss from your isp and you want to update your ip may, uh, automatically for um our reverse proxy using cloudflare there's a really cool tool that i found on um github it's a uh auto it's the best way i found to do this all the other GUIs and other GUI ones just don't work right so this is the best way to go about doing it I'll link this in the description but basically we're going to copy this compose and or we can just press this copy button and we're going to go into our documents and we're going to go into C drive and tools we're going to name a folder called DDNS so you just create a new folder called DDNS and we're going to make a new file called docker compose.yml just like this it's already there so i don't need to do it but just so you guys can see we're going to open it up it should be blank and we're going to copy and paste our compose in here and we're going to change two things you can leave this proxy as true uh i personally don't leave that because um my proxies i don't know it doesn't work for me all the time so i keep it as false so we're going to make this false. Again, doing this will expose your IP. If you want to try to get working with your reverse proxy, um, you can try. But I've never found success with it. So I think this is false. Um, our domains, we're going to... So, for example, on my Cloudflare, I'm using Demon Warrior Tech. So I'm going to copy this domain. And um, we're going to need to put our... Um, Cloudflare API token, and this is really easy to do right in here after the equal sign. To do this, uh, we're going to go into our Cloudflare, and we're going to go into our uh, the, uh, overview of our domain. We're going to scroll down until we get to get your API token, and we're going to go to create a new token. I'm going to click uh, the bottom, which is create a custom token. I'm going to name it Cloudflare DDNS. And we're going to do zone. And again, zone. And this is read. Add one more. We're going to do zone DNS. And this is going to be edit. Uh, we're going to change our zone to a specific zone because we only want this for one domain. We're going to choose our Demon Warrior Tech. If you want to update all your domains, you can do um, all zones. But I just wanted to update Demon Warrior Tech. And continue and create a token and we copy this token this token is gonna be deleted so no reason to blur it out and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna paste our token in here that's our token now and now we can just run it so that you'll save it and close out I'm not gonna save because I have my token registered but all we have to do to run it is go into our terminal oh sorry also if you haven't set up your domain yet you'll want to go to um, your website on Cloudflare, so on Steam Warrior Tech. I'm going to DNS, and we will set our um, A type. So we're going to create an A record, our domain, which uh, is this, and then just type in any IP. It could be it could be anything because it's going to auto update anyways. And click save. Once you've done that, uh, we're going to go into our uh, our uh, Duck DNA, or our, uh, uh, I'm going to delete this real quick so I can show you. This is mine that's currently running. So as you see, I just removed mine. So if I go to my domain now, now it won't load. On. Oh, it'll still load, but it's because it already updated. So now if I go in here and I type, I'm in tools, DDNS, and I type docker compose up dash D. Now it's started. And if we check this, it'll say it's running. We can check to see it has my IP and my record. And we should now see that it should auto update and run the background for us. So it'll basically auto always run. And when our IP changes, it'll automatically update to our current Cloudflare API. So if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And hopefully this helped you out a little bit. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your night. Also join our Discord if you have any issues. I'd be more than willing to happy to answer and help. Thanks, guys.